Petal Brain's left brain. Expression modulator bank four natures. This bank pulls from dynamic and wildly fluctuating randomized patterns, giving you control over the constraints to smooth out some of the wild randomization, bring it to your practice. Mode one fires mode is this hot mode of crackling and sparking. Knob one gives you control over the maximum brightness of this mode reflected in the expression. Knob two is your sparking control and brings more or less of that sparkling and crackling fire. Knob three is the cooling knob. And as you turn that down, you have various fades reflected in the output of this mode. So that's mode one fires. Moving on to mode two, rolling hills. Rolling hills is similar to the mountains modes of bank one greatest hits, but brings some additional randomization to the pattern. Knob number one gives a chance for that waveform to pause at some point during its ascent or descent. Knob number two controlling the speed that it rolls along. And knob number three allowing you to smooth out the randomness or bring in additional peaks to offset the rolling hills of mode two. Mode three is the sunset hills mode, swaps out the green tones of the rolling hills for more rainbow patterns of light that are picked up by the photoresistor in the left brain and translated to expression. We have the same controls here over the chance for that waveform to wait at some point as it moves along, the speed at which it traverses through the different colors of the sunset, and again bringing in more or less randomness to dial in a more consistent pattern of modulation, or go full random for that. So this is modes three sunset hills mode four is an evolution of the rolling hills mode called shallow hills and the shallow hills brings just an increased amount of possibility around there being no light during the course of the modulation bringing wild spikes on occasion that add strange patterns of modulation. Again, giving you control to the traversal of that while being able to dial back the amount of randomness over time and still giving you access to the chance that it will wait at a specific value as it is moving along. This is mode four, shallow hills. Moving on to mode five, this is shallow mountains. 
bringing the same kind of variability to the amount of darkness uh, as shallow hills, but now adding in some additional color spectrum variation to interact with the expression values. This is mode five, shallow mountains. Mode six, drips. This mode is meant to simulate a dripping and has a randomness to when it will drip. You get control over the maximum brightness of these drips with knob one. Knob two is the speed at which it will drip. So allowing you to space out those randomizations, uh, those random randomized brightness. And then you have the ability with knob number three to dial in an additional dark duration. So this is great for occasional expression when you just want it to peek out once in a while and influence whatever it's affecting. And this is mode six drips. Moving on to mode seven. This is Meteors One. Meteors One is a randomized pattern of lights. Again, just wildly varied and modulating over time, uh, sometimes seemingly with a mind of its own. Meteor's mode gives you control of over the maximum brightness. The speed of meteors and a duration of darkness that you can dial in in between the meteor showers in mode seven meteors one. Mode eight meteors two the same kind of thing, but with different amounts of variation in it. Uh, the same controls give you the ability to dial in a maximum brightness using knob one, a speed of the meteor shower, and uh, the speed on knob two, and knob three, a duration of darkness that you can dial in in between meteors. That's mode 8 meteors 2. Brings us to mode 9. Mode 9 is oceans. And ocean mode brings a undulating patterns of expression that are always randomizing and smoothly lapping against the shore of effects pedals. Controls for oceans mode include a maximum brightness on knob one. Knob two, controlling the speed of the waves. And knob three, controlling the hue of the colors on the front. This is mode nine oceans. Mode 10 combines ocean modes and fires modes into wildly oscillating patterns that include both the waves of oceans mode along with the popping and crackling of fires. Knob one gives you control over the maximum brightness in this mode. 
Knob 2 gives you control over the speed of both the ocean's waves and the crackling of the fire. And Knob 3 gives you control over the hue of the ocean. And that's Mode 10, Fire's Ocean. This has been Bank 4 Natures. Just a lot of wild patterns of randomization that you can have subtle control over to help guide your expression.